from creator J.J. Abrams comes an iconic turn-of-the-century TV show that became a pop culture sensation, featuring a first season that had viewers wondering, what's in a box? And a time-traveling final season that left most fans disappointed and confused. Felicity. Oh, and also Lost. Wow, J.J. did that twice? How does that even happen? Prepare for a zeitgeist-defining drama that started with one simple question. Where are we? Then ballooned into so many more. What is the Black Rock? What do the numbers mean? What is the monster? Who are you people? That bridge is saying my name. What is a Nigerian priest doing on an island in the South Pacific? What happens to pregnant women on this island? That even the creators eventually got tired of answering them. What do you mean, get back here? What do I mean? eventually folding in on itself like a question singularity as the writers booby-trapped this tropical hell with literal mystery boxes and one mystery whose answer is still an actual question mark. I want some friggin' answers! Us too, dude. Us too. Return to the Island, a mysterious monster-inhabited death trap that no one will shut up about. Welcome to the island. Everything I did, I did for the island. The island killed him. The island isn't done with you yet. The island isn't done with you yet. The island's not done with this yet. Yeah, we're not done with this island. And meet these plane crash survivors who probably shouldn't have flown the same airline that got hijacked in executive decision. This is Oceanic 343 Heavy requesting emergency landing. Their son and Jin. This grifter too. The millionaire. And locks knives. Whoa. The music star, the confessor and scary man, here on Gilligan's Island. <clears throat> Sorry, where, where, where were we again? There's Jack Shepard, the tortured doctor who ultimately turns out to be a likable hero. Sawyer, the tortured con man who ultimately turns out to be a likable hero. Saeed, the tortured former torturer who ultimately turns out to be a likable hero. Kate, the tortured murderer who ultimately turns out to be a likable hero. Charlie, the tortured drug addict who, hang on, these are all the same people. Even the objectively evil mass murderer gets a redemption arc. I forgive you. Thank you, John. That does help. Eh, oh well. I guess we still have Nikki and Paolo. Razzle dazzle! Ah! They suck. Witness a show trying to figure out what it is in real time as it veers wildly from a character-driven drama about plane crash survivors. We can't live together. We're gonna die alone to a gritty showdown between two warring factions. This is our island. To a whole season set mostly in cages. You okay, Freckles? To a mystery driven by clue-filled flash forwards. They're referring to you as the Oceanic Six. To a sci-fi show about time travel. I'm from the future. To an epic final battle between two immortal brothers who fight over pulling the plug out of the island, which will unleash evil somehow, while our main characters all meet in the afterlife so they can go to heaven? Really? It's complicated. But every time you're ready to walk away and swear you'll never watch again, the show will deliver a moment so epic. I love you. I love you too. We have to go back. Oh, you son of a bitch. You'll forget they devoted entire episodes to Jack's tattoos, Charlie's visions, Zombie Saeed, and Hurley trying to start a van. But no matter which era of Lost you're watching, get ready for six seasons of stories that all unfold basically the same way, where we start with an extreme close-up of someone's eye, then someone comes running out of the jungle. Whoa, 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 you're good right there. Right before it starts to rain, Then someone beats the crap out of Ben. You know what I love! Don't you do what you need! Someone tells Locke what he can't do. Don't tell me what I can't do. Don't tell me what I can't do! Don't tell me what I can't do! Kate cries. Hey. It's gonna, it's gonna be all right. It's good. And there's a team meeting where Jack gives a speech. Every man for himself is not gonna work. Everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, everything's gonna be all right. Just have to be patient, okay? 
and leads a group into the jungle where something happens that causes them to run. 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 Run! Hey, damn it, run! Until a mind-blowing episode ending reveal punctuated by a Michael Giacchino music sting that sounds like every sound ever made all played at once. Lost! What? I can't be the only guy that shouted lost every time, right? So get lost and revisit one of the shows that ushered in an era of peak TV that was doing audience favorite anti-heroes before Breaking Bad, genre-driven viral marketing before Heroes, and unpredictable character deaths long before Game of Thrones red wedding its way into your heart. <laughs> from a creative team that gave us the geniuses behind 2009's Star Trek, HBO's Watchmen, and Netflix's Daredevil, who were also the same geniuses who brought us 2019's The Rise of Skywalker, Ridley Scott's Prometheus, and Netflix's The Defenders. How can the same people do things so good and so bad, unless their plan was to intentionally destroy all the established franchises from the inside, paving the way for groundbreaking original television like <gasps> Lost? Starring Matthew, definitely a fox. Professor X. Middle Earth. Who is the fictional band that's a hit with all the fans? Drive Shaft. You're damn right. The Snack from Iraq. Gambit. The Campfire Diaries. The Love Boat. Dude Perfect. Dude. 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 Uh, dude? The kid's gone. Ben Solo. Billy D. Williams? No new pope yet? Aw. Concussions. <laughs> Uh, what's this? For? Final destination. You're gonna die, Charlie. You're gonna have to die, John. Richard said I was going to die. Mr. Whitmore told me Richard Alpert said that you were going to die. The miracle of birth. <laughs> Come on. Damn it. Push. That's it. Push. It's coming. Come on, Penny. Push. 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 <laughs> Push harder! I can't. <laughs> oh, push! 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 Friendly Lock. Hello, Charlie. Hello, James. Hello, Desmond. Hello, Saeed. Hello, Benjamin. Hello, Jacob. Hello, Echo. Hello, Hugo. Hello, Jack. Hello, Rose. Hello, Richard. Hello, Kate. I just killed a chicken. Nicknames. How long was it, Freckles? How to score the house call, Dr. Quinn. You sure know how to butter a man up, Steak Puff. Sulu over here is packing a suitcase full of salted fish. You want me, hot lips? Welcome back, Dr. Wizard. I think it's Mr. Wizard. Shut up, Pillsbury. Cool hand. Deep dish. Chachi. Sally Slingshot. Barbar. Bar. Kenny Rogers. What's your problem, Jumbotron? Shut up, Red Nick Man. A writer's room in obvious need of therapy. My mother was crazy. Well, I guess we don't always turn out like our mothers want. How come you never talk about your dad, John? Nothing worth talking about. What, your dad never taught you to use a hammer? No, my dad taught me how to drink. You have a dad? Everyone's got a dad. Is he cool? No. Dude, that guy's a total douche. That douche is my dad. And Michael talking about his son. They're not taking my son away. They took my son! 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 They took my son because of you! I'm gonna get back my son. I have to get my son back. I'm going after my son. He's my son. My son! Where's my son? I want my son. It's my son. <laughs> lost. No, really, I'm totally lost. Can you explain it again? Maybe Jen would have survived if he just learned to stay off boats. Just do it. Hey, Screen Junkies, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? And are you sick to death of being asked that question? In a new video, we proved it harder than a Harry Ellis hangover. Watch it now. This episode is sponsored by Google Play. Download Marvel Realm of Champions and discover more on Google Play now. Noise.